What's up guys? Welcome back. Um, my name is Amanda. I feel that I always forget to introduce myself in the beginning of my videos. So there we go. So I'm going to be walking you through how I treat preventatively for pests with all of my plants. I do have one plant that I know of right now that <laughs> is infested with some pet or with some pests, not pets. So there's a million products you can use for your plants to protect protect them from pests, whether it be preventatively or to fight off an infestation that's already there. I used to strictly only use neem oil, and neem oil is great, especially if you're buying the legit oil that you need to, to dilute, but I will say it's still kind of strong and it suffocates plants. Neem oil is one of those products that I suggest kind of testing out. Don't just slather all your plants in it because I've had a few plants that just don't react well. It was either too much or maybe it was my dilution, I don't know. And it suffocated the foliage and I lost pretty much the whole plant. Pests were gone, but I lost the whole plant. So I kind of only use neem oil on really bad infestations and I'll spot treat rather than just preventatively as a whole. What I have been using lately that I kind of love is the Dr. Earth Final Stop. You can use it indoor plants, outdoor plants, it's organic. Um, when you look at the ingredients, it's literally just rosemary oil, sesame, peppermint, uh, cinnamon, garlic, and then it has glycerin, water. So it's not, it's not very harsh like neem oil, but it does the job. <laughs> this is great to use preventatively. I will usually shoot for once a week treating all my plants preventatively. If I can't do that at least um, once every two weeks if I can and I have never had an issue with this suffocating any of my plants being too strong even for my more sensitive plants like a calathea Hawaiian snowbush sensitive delicate foliage like that this has been no issue so I love this for my one plant that well I still have to check the rest there might be more than one but I'm hoping not more than one but the one plant so far that actually has pests all over it I like to use a microfiber cloth and this is what I use to really rub down each leaf. When I'm spraying preventatively, I don't really rub down each leaf so much like that. I mean, I'll make sure to cover as much as I can, but I won't sit there with a towel on every one of my leaves unless I absolutely need to. Okay, here's the culprit. Here is the guy that is infested and I know some people say you shouldn't keep all your plants so close together because there's an infestation and it'll spread faster, which is true, but I have this whole plant room and I can't really get away from that. And having pests is just kind of a part of the process. You're never gonna not have any in the whole time that you own plants, especially if you have a whole room full of them. So whatever. Um, this is my ficus umbellata. There we go. I'm trying to see if I can, oh, I just stabbed a hole. It's okay. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get you a good look at these guys. It's so hard not to be shaky. Um, yeah, that leaf is absolutely full of them. This leaf is as well. nasty so yeah i'm willing to bet there's spider mites i'm not a hundred percent the best at identifying pests from each other because some of them can look a little bit similar but either way i treat them the same i should say for the most part i treat them the same if i have mealies oh i go crazy with mealy bugs i will be tempted to throw that plant out i hate those bugs so if you don't have a microfiber cloth you can totally use a regular cloth you can use paper towels. I just find that I end up using a lot and I feel bad for wasting so many. You can buy, which I need, <laughs> there are these gloves that you slip on or they're like, they have mittens and glove versions and it's pretty much just this and it makes it a lot easier. So if you have that, that's even better. So after I have rubbed down all the leaves, I'll also just kind of get in the soil a little bit. Now for this one, I can tell that it needs to be watered which is kind of perfect. So I'm gonna put a little bit extra in the soil so that when I water, it kind of helps bring everything down. And then I'm also gonna give like one last 
little spray. And this stuff doesn't stink necessarily. I think ooh, it smells better than neem oil. Neem oil just has that funky smell. This just smells like, like, literally like the oils. Like you can smell the cinnamon a little bit. Um, kind of like rosemary, like it just smells like a blend of oils. So to me, that's not as bad as the smell of neem oil. Okay, so I've treated the plant that I know for sure has has spider mites, we'll just call them spider mites because that's what I think they are. So regardless if I had found a plant that was infested, I would check every plant as thoroughly as I can before I spray preventatively, preventatively just to stay on top of it in case there is an infestation. So like that one, it was kinda, it wasn't too bad, but if I had not really checked any of my plants, I wouldn't have noticed and it wouldn't have gotten even worse. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna do that right now. So when I'm checking for pests, what I normally do is I will check under not every leaf because that's kind of a lot. Likely if you have pests, you're going to, if you check enough of the leaves, you'll find it. So I'll look at the back of the leaves. I look for obvious things, you know, movement. So that little white spot, quick glance, I would totally freak out and be like, oh my God, me leaves but it's not, it's just probably a water stain or something. But yeah, check every leaf or as many as you can without going crazy. Uh, also look for foliage issues, like major foliage issues. So leaves that are specially damaged, you want to take a really good look at just to kind of see. And since I already know that one plant has spider mites, I wanna kinda, I'm going to keep an extra, look at all that mess. I'm going to keep an extra close eye out for spider mites. Now that doesn't mean every plant that has um, a dying leaf or damaged leaf is going to be infected with pests. Just kind of think about it. Like I already know this was a one leaf cutting months and months. Finally started putting out new growth. There's a growth point down there. And so I'm expecting this original leaf to die off. That's totally normal. So this plant my Adansonii, I, I have it up against the wall. I definitely wouldn't spray down each leaf of this one, but it is just kind of hard to get to. And there are so many little spots on this plant that pests can hide and, or where pests can hide. And I've had a problem with that in the past with a different Adansonii I had. It was like nearly impossible to get rid of mealy bugs on it. So I usually do a little bit more of a thorough check on this plant and I remove it when I'm spraying just to ensure that I get as much of it as I can. So my phone's about to die. I'm gonna make this fast. I just finished spraying. I recommend spraying down with water when you can, doing these treatments when you can. Spraying with water outside or in your shower is a pest preventative in itself. Although it's kind of annoying if you have a lot of plants because I have a lot and it's a pain to take them outside to the bathroom. But with the ficus that I have that's infested, I will keep doing this process every couple days. So today I sprayed, I'll wait two days, probably just spray down with water and then do another treatment, wait another three, four days, do the same thing. As long as I'm keeping a gap of like four days, maybe this plant's a little bit more delicate than like a pothos to where I could probably treat it every day and it would be fine. Besides that, I highly recommend having a pre pest preventative routine because it's a lot easier to prevent pests than it is to treat them when you have it. And it's devastating when they take over so many plants and you either lose them or lose some foliage or just a pain. Like I get stressed out. That's the one time I will say I get kind of stressed out is when I have pests all over all my plants. So thankfully it was just that one. Hopefully it survives. I'll definitely update on that. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good one.